and tells the story of a castle which is held by only half of its men, but still drives away three full armies. I was born the youngest child of a wealthy lord, a daughter fair, wrapped her six fine sons, blue of eye and of golden hair, my brother's pride and my parents' joy. My papa was called away to the king to be given reward for service in the wars. He took mama and my brothers and half of the guard to make a fine show for all the royal court. Now before papa left, he called the captain of the guard to him and he told him that he had to obey everything I said just like I was papa. I was so excited, but I didn't want to mess up because Papa would be cross with me. I was sewing in the solar with my mother's ladies when the captain of the guard came bursting through the door. Three armies were marauding upon the castle keep. The first would be on us before the night fell. Three armies? That's a lot of guests. And Papa <laughs> always said to always be hospitable to your guests. You have a funny look on your face. But that's a lot of people, and we only have a certain number of rooms, so perhaps we should close the gate so I can decide who should get them. That would be an excellent idea. So we went down to the wall so I could see the armies, so I could decide who should get the best rooms. And there are three armies standing at the gate, and they're dirty, and they're cross, and they don't smell very good. Oh, they'd make such a mess if we let them in the yard, but I'm worried that my papa will be cross. They look awfully cold, don't they? Well, my lady, they dressed for a summer siege, and autumn is upon us. They got here first. No, that family that died of the plague. Nobody's using any of those clothes or blankets. Perhaps we could give them those. <laughs> <laughs> that is an excellent idea, my lady. <laughs> so we threw them down, all of the clothes, the blankets, the gowns, and even tablecloths. They fought over them like naughty children all, but then they all started to cough. <laughs> <laughs> You don't suppose there was still plague on those clothes, do you? <laughs> no, my lady. We, we already knew they were cold. Well, they're all going home now, so... I suppose that was good enough hospitality for Papa? I'm sure it was, my lady. So there are two armies standing at the gate, and they're dirty and they're cross and they don't smell very good. Oh, they'd make such a mess if we let them in the yard, but I'm worried that my papa will be cross. My goodness, they all look so hungry. Well, they were in the middle. They didn't leave themselves a supply line. You know, feeding people is a really important part of, a, of, of, of hospitality. Perhaps we could give them some, some bread with oil and herbs. You know, it's awfully cold. Perhaps we should heat the oil and herbs before we pour it down to them. We even have pots for oil on top of the walls. Oh, what a good idea. I'm sure they'll love it. So we threw them down, 100 loaves of bread, and when they came to get them, we poured out all the oil. <laughs> they cried and they moaned and they made an awful fuss, and they never even ate a bite of bread. <laughs> They're not even eating the bread! <laughs> Do you think the oil was too hot? No. But it did smell like too much rosemary. <laughs> Some people just don't appreciate good herbs. 
So there's still one army left standing at the gate, and they're dirty and they're cross and they don't smell very good. But they'd make such a mess if we let them in the yard. But I'm worried that my papa will be cross. Ugh, they smell worse than the other two. Well, we have these convenient pots. Perhaps hot, soapy water? We are out of oil. You know, the more lye is in the soap, the cleaner it gets. You know? I think that every other pot should be straight lye. They smell very bad. Oh, what a good idea! You're so good at this! So we poured down all the lye and the soap. They must have liked the bath, for they pulled off all their clothes. They rubbed and they scrubbed, and they, like they pulled their own skin off. And then they weeping all they ran away. That's a lot of clothes and armor and weapons. Perhaps we should stack them in neat piles, and Papa can decide what to do with them when he gets back. That is an excellent idea, my lady. I'll get my men right on it. And there weren't any armies left standing at the gate, but the armies and armor and the weapons have all been left behind. It took us so long to clean up all the mess, and I'm worried that my papa will be cross. Finally, my papa came home, and the captain of the guard told papa everything. And his eyes got very wide, and his face got very pale. And he pulled me close and hugged me very tight. And I'm so glad that my papa isn't cross. <laughs> <laughs>